So guys, Derek here from Body Shape Performance with you again. So this is day two of my video blog. Um, we're answering all questions on uh, basically tips to keep you healthy, healthy over Christmas. Um, and that is my main goal here, guys. And obviously to get my your mindset right to stay in the happy zone that is christmas because we all want to enjoy christmas it's a great time for family friends and so forth and loved ones coming home especially for me sisters coming home i haven't seen her in three or four years so i'm going to be able to spend a great time with her so i think it's important like you know we do spend the time with the people worth spending and try to stay away from the more the neg negative side of things i find this is massive and i know you might not think this there's a correlation between uh, nutrition and fitness with negativity but there is because for a lot of people you know i can talk about my own experience as well about we're full of fear afraid to try new things you know um mainly it's other people holding us back they hold us back from our dreams we're usually in the mindset then of jesus i could never do what he did what she did so you know, the list goes on and all constantly knock, knocking you down, knocking your confidence. Then when other people, you know, like to butt in maybe to people's lives and try to tell you how to leave it, you know, it leaves us all feeling a bit, di di you know, disillusioned, I suppose, not knowing what the right path is. But the right path is, lads, you know, is to clear your mind is first and foremost because there's going to be so much jumbled up in our minds, um, so many stories we tell ourselves which a lot of the time aren't true because we're capable as human beings of doing anything we want in this world. And I mean anything. We have to start baby steps. That baby step um, for you could be to go for, on Christmas morning, to wake up, go for a nice walk on the beach. Okay, if it's raining, maybe try some other activity. But Joe's a nice walk to freshen up. Eat a good breakfast. Eat a decent breakfast. Then enjoy the rest of your day. Yes, have your dinner. Have your few sweets. But make sure if you are if you are conscious of how you look and it has been causing you problems and maybe your mindset is wrong, you know, just be more aware of what you eat. Have your big dinner, but eat smaller portions thereafter, Stephen's Day and over the holiday period. As I said in last night's video, try to curtail the drink as much as you can because, you know, we can put in all this good work. We can do a day, two days of drinking and kaput. The good work is gone, guys. And we don't want to be wasting money on good food on gyms for you to do that. So just keep vigilant throughout the happy period. Do your best to get some exercise in. We're not looking at exercising every day. Even on that Christmas week, if you got out three days of exercising, be it walking, running, some weightlifting, and just keep somewhat control of your nutrition. Don't let it all fall behind. But coming into the new year, have a think about maybe, I know it's New Year's resolution, not, I don't really want to use that word, but have a think, map out, get a piece of paper, get a whiteboard, start mapping out where you want to go in your life. Do you know, it could be something as simple as, you know, I want to lose a stone, or I want to get that job. Well, draw it up on the paper or the whiteboard, and off of that, on little subheadings, do you know, how are you going to get there? Do you know, I suppose, how, where are you, how are you going to go for a walk tomorrow? Well, I'm going to go for a walk in such and such a beat, so you got it there. Do you know, are you going to go for a fast pace walk? Things like that. It's like mind mapping what you're going to do with your life. And that in turn, like when we do start start things like that and you see it up on a whiteboard, it's a hell of a lot easier to continue because if you're just telling yourself this, like we've been telling ourselves these stories, all our lives will do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or that's a good book we've read. I, I'll use that information. It doesn't work. Start drawing it out and taking action now because that's, if we're not going to start to take an action immediately, again, these thoughts, good thoughts that maybe will be put back into a box and you'll soon forget. So there's a few tips. I probably did ramble on a bit. I'm sorry, but I hopefully it helps someone. I do want people to comment on tomorrow's video. What do you want in the video? And I look forward to seeing you then. See you later.